Good morning. It's Thursday, July the 2nd. I'm Roddy Chesser, pastor of Open Door Family Fellowship, San Angelo, Texas. This is Necessary Food, and I'm in Proverbs chapter 11, verses 24 and 25. It says, There is that scattereth, and yet increaseth. And there is that withholdeth more than is meat, but it tendeth to poverty. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Our God is a giver. Our God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And if our God is a giver, then we who are followers of Jesus should be givers as well. And I love this proverb. It says there's a person who goes about and they scatter. They scatter. And yet they experience increase. What does that mean? Well, the opposite is, is there is that withholdeth more than his meat. That's the old mis the miserly the, the, the penny pincher, the, the one who, who doesn't even, who tries to, to, to chide you and, and, chi and, and cheat you every time they get a chance. And yet, he says, it tendeth to poverty. Listen, God has called us to be givers. God has called us to be generous. He says in the next one, he says, the liberal soul shall be made fat. Now that's fat like your cows, like you want your cows to be. You know, uh, in our world, we, we don't like the word fat. You know, if somebody's fat, well, that's a bad thing. That's a terrible thing. And everybody's, everybody's buying all this exercise equipment, trying to figure out how to get rid of that. But what, what he means is, is, he says the liberal soul, that, that person who is liberal with what they have, who hold everything with a loose hand and are willing to, to give and to help others, he says that person is going to be made fat. In other words, they're going to have plenty. And he says, and he that watereth, shall be watered also himself. Somebody who comes along and, and waters somebody else. Something, something that right now in the summertime, if you got a garden, you know all about needing to water. And uh, you know how important the rain is and how vital it is. And you can also see the incredible benefit that comes after the rain. He says, well, if you will be the kind of person that will water others, you can trust God's going to make sure you get watered. If you're the kind of person that that is liberal, you can make sure that God's going to take care of you and give you the things that you need. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a name it and claim it. I'm not into that. I don't believe the word of faith movement. Uh, I'm not saying that you give to get. That's greed, magic, and, and it's, it's a terrible heresy. What I'm telling you is exactly what the Bible says. Jesus said in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Same, same kind of, of, of teaching that our Lord Jesus gives us that we find in Proverbs. No surprise there. Because what he says is he's, he's, he's talking about a bushel basket full of grain. And he says, it's going to be pressed down. You know, you take that grain, pour it in that bushel basket. Then you take that thing and you shake it. You bounce it a little bit. I buy big sacks of, of flour for our tortillas. And I keep it in a five-gallon bucket with a gamma seal lid on it. And whenever I do that, I take one of those big sacks of flour and I pour that flour in there and that flour will heap up over the top. But then I take that bucket and I shake it a little bit and that flour settles. And then I, I bounce it a little bit and that flour settles a little bit more. And that allows me to go ahead and get more in there. And that's what, that's what he's saying. He says, he says, look, if you will be generous, if you will water others, if you will be liberal, and, and look around you. Don't be selfish. Look around you. The Lord Jesus Christ is a giver. The Lord Jesus Christ wants us to be givers. He wants for us to reflect his image into this world. And he is a giver. And so because we have received abundantly, we in turn can be generous ourselves. And Jesus wants for us to be generous. The love of God leads us to be generous giving people. Hey, look around you today. You probably will find an opportunity to give, to be generous to others. And when you do, you can trust that God's going to take care of you. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.